is my outfit, Lele hoodie. Today has been a very long day. showing my makeup look or whatever because I am going out with my friends I'm going out because like my brother he does not have any routine set down for himself like skin routine and he's a mechanic so I would assume that a mechanic would need a good skincare oh my god what the fuck was that um I'm like trying to surprise him by getting him products for his face and I did do research on this like I didn't just say Oh, let me just go on TikTok. So we're gonna go to Kiyoki. I know I went there like two videos ago, but guys, listen, it's for him. Of course this happens when I need to go. But why is everything? Okay, you guys. So I don't know, I don't even know if I'm on frame. <laughs> Currently, I am going to just drive around with my friends. Then we're gonna obviously go to the mall. But I'm so ex- Okay. I'm just so excited because I have not socialized in so long. Like, this is my life. I go to work for a few hours, then, or the entire day, I come back home, I go on my phone, I play Roblox. Like, I see them online and stuff, but besides that, like, it's on Roblox, girl. Like, come on. I need to touch them. I could have used better words, but uh, whatever. But yeah, so I'm so excited. Um, my makeup, I think it came out actually pretty okay, if I'm being honest. Like, this time I put like a thin, thin, thin layer. Like, you know how I like dab a lot? I'm really glad that I bought the items that I did for my skin routine. Because, oh my gosh, you guys. I love the cleanser, by the way. The cleanser is my favorite thing. I love the oil cleanser, the hydrating cleanser, the... I love the toner as well. Like, you can tell the toner is doing something, as well as the moisturizer. I love the moisturizer. It's just so perfect for oily skin. Like, I've never had a moisturizer suit my oily skin so, so much. <laughs> okay, girl. <laughs> trying to fix my car the battery died so i had to call my brother i'm trying guys and now they're trying to fix my radio because the battery restarted <laughs> for me. Let's hope it works. I'm like fighting the urge to buy everything. I held off on getting a face mask because I'm already getting toner pads. So yeah. I'm gonna hold off on getting serums too. I'm gonna do more research because I feel like I'm just rushing it at this point. I did damage, lots of damage. I need to like ban myself from ever going from that store again for like a month. Hi guys, um, I'm back. <laughs> Today has been a very long day. I was out the entire day literally and it's 7.31 p.m. So I'm so glad I get to come home and rest because I'm so tired. If you've seen my story or literally any reposts, you know that I love love mofu sand and i've been always jealous of those people that get to go to japan and go to that store that's literally just dedicated to that i got a shirt guys <laughs> mofu sand teddy meal like i love it so much it's cream color it's so cute this is my first mofu sand merch so i'm so happy i love mofu sand okay next up Yogi, this was very expensive. I'm gonna 
show you the stuff that I got for myself, which is this SPF by E2. So this is the sunscreen that I got. I do wear sunscreen, but not as much as I would like to because the sunscreen I have, it gets really greasy. Like my face looks super greasy. I was debating on Centella sunscreen, but that was like $27.99. Well, this was $17.99. So I was like, okay, well, I don't really need one. Oh my God, it's running out, what the fuck? But during summertime, I am getting Centella one because winter's coming. So I'm not so like, oh, I need sunscreen right now. In general, you should have sunscreen. Next product for me is this one. I'm actually really excited. I've always wanted toner pads. I got this one right here. This one I read online and it said it was for like blemishes and whatnot. So for the toners, I most likely would just be switching in between. Reminder, you don't need toner pads. Like if something works for you, use it. You don't need to buy 50 different toners, toner pads, face masks, whatever. If it's you don't, I totally get it, but like you don't need it to have some skin. I feel like a lot of young girls forget the fact that health is also a huge part of your skin. So for example, you should be eating well, not in the way. And I don't mean in a way where you're starving yourself. I mean in a way where you're eating healthy and you're literally just enjoying life. You're making sure you sleep well and whatnot. Like it's not just it's not just skincare guys, like there's more things in life. So don't buy something just because it influences your sense But do your own research and see if you actually need it. If you have toners, you don't need another one if you don't want it. But if you want to try it and see if it's good for you, go ahead, but you don't need like 10 of the same thing. Daily treatment pad that offers optimized solution for those with various skin troubles due to external environment and stress. So off your skin concern quickly and easily with a pad during your busy daily life. Wow. And these three things I got for my brother. A cleanser, a toner, oh, toner, and serum. They're all to help his sensor skin. He's here, so I'm gonna leave. <laughs> So I'm gonna make myself food because I have been spending a lot of money. I did spend lots of money and I feel like areas that I could cut down on spending money is making food for myself. And also I feel like it's self-care in general to eat healthy food rather than eat out all the time. So I'm gonna do that. I decided to make Alfredo because that can last for like two, three, four days that I can eat with, so I don't have to cook again and again. But while that is cooking up, I'm gonna drink the smoothie that my mom and dad made me. I'm also eating this. It's just yogurt. I'm trying to improve my gut system. In general, you should be improving it. Your gut system, it basically helps you digest your food much better and take up the nutrients much better is what I'm getting. I have been having issues in like digesting my food properly and I get a lot of stomach aches. So there's clearly something wrong there. I'm trying to improve most areas in my life right now that I would need when I'm older. So when I'm older, I don't have to figure out all these kind of things. I could just figure it all out now. See you guys, I was able to do it.
Here we go. Do you guys like it? It might not be big of a portion, but this is big for me and it's still technically morning for me. So I don't want to eat too much. I have work later and I do not want to dump it out on them. This is literally my favorite shirt. I've been wearing this for so long. My favorite jeans. And now, my favorite hoodie. I absolutely love these glasses. Like, you know, the, the first glasses they sent me, I love that pair, but these glasses, thank you. I'm so happy that I can wear my cute glasses with my cute cozy outfit. I love both of these glasses. When they contacted me again to collab and them sending me their products, I was really excited because guys, again, I'm in my own little circle thinking, oh, glasses are expensive. Like if I do get glasses, I have to get the ones that are like a hundred dollars because higher the price, higher the quality, right? No guys, nuh -uh. This is very comfortable, lightweight, and it's also hypoallergenic. It's durable, flexible, and it's resistant to corrosion. These glasses are, as if I have not emphasized it enough, very cute and very affordable to those who would like to get glasses or need glasses. Fermoon has many sales going on right now, including Black Friday and Cyber Monday, so please check them out so you can get the best deals. On top of that, I also have a promo code for you guys to use and there's also a link if you'd like to use it you get 50% off of your glasses if you want to get yourself one and also get your friends one as a holiday gift it's just not doing it they've been wanting new glasses but they've been on the fence why not just get it for them as a gift it's a gift that you know they'll actually use all the time instead of just putting it in the back thank you for me again for sending me glasses that I absolutely love and appreciate you sending I'm so grateful and I hope you guys get it too bye Hi you guys, I am done making food and I just want to have like a little chit chat with you guys. You can't see my eyebrows. <laughs> guys, pretend they're there. I can't Photoshop it, I'm sorry. I'm gonna be yapping a little bit and talking to you guys cause this is the only time my parents are home. Have you guys like noticed that there's a large volume on the topic of loving yourself? And obviously that is a good thing, but um, I don't feel like a lot of people truly believe it. Like, I go on TikTok, I see these videos where it's like, oh yeah, you should love yourself because if you can't love yourself, then, you know, how are you gonna love other people? But, um, I feel like, sorry, I just feel so strongly about this, but like, I feel like young girls and boys, but like, young people, like children, they're children to me, I don't feel like they're taught enough how to love themselves properly. You define loving yourself, it means... Obviously, you're gonna have moments of doubts, but like at the end of the day, if something were to occur, you can tell yourself at the end of the day, all I need is myself. I need, all I need to be is authentic to myself and make sure that I can still like who I see. And it's such a heavy topic for young people. Like in high school, I was very insecure about myself. I was insecure about my weight, how I looked, and just overall everything about me like i didn't think i was a smart person at all if someone gave me a list of things to do i would doubt myself and be like can i even do it like i would tell myself um i would have to be perfect in the things i would have to do but if i didn't meet that expectation i would be disappointed and i'd say of course i'm bound to mess it up of course i mess it up that affects how you think in a lot of things like even simple stuff like just like doing your laundry and when you forget, you're like, oh, of course I forgot it. Like, why wouldn't I forget? I'm so stupid. And that kind of mindset, something little to then compare to something big, like depression. Depression, having that kind of mindset, self-hatred towards yourself is so preventable, I want to say, or it could be so very altered in the length of depression and also the severity of it if we actually taught our children how to love themselves, right? If you teach them from a young age that you don't need other people to survive, you just need yourself because at the end of the day, who's the one putting themselves to bed? Who's the one waking up? Who's the one making decisions for themselves? If I depend on someone else, if I wait for someone to make me feel the way that 
I would like to feel. It's just such a harmful cycle. I feel like we are so capable of making ourselves happy and content by first having our priorities straight. Like, obviously, I'm not saying, oh, you don't need anyone to be, like, you don't need anyone. Don't talk to anyone. Don't ask for advice. Like, only depend on yourself. Because that's also a harmful cycle. I have two friends that, just two guys, <laughs> I have two friends that I've known for so long and are so dear to my heart. Without them, I don't think I could be the person I am today. But I'm not saying they did all the hard work. I did the hard work of living through every day and obviously I didn't make the best decisions on my behalf but at least I went through every day knowing that the next day will come. I feel like I've grown a lot as a woman, as a person. I feel quite fulfilled in my life even if I'm not in university, even if I don't have a partner, I have myself. And if I can learn to be the best version of myself for myself, then I should be okay, right? I end of the day, I don't have someone to hold my hand, but I have my own hand to hold. And that's so valuable. And I know as a kid, when you're hearing that, it's like, that's so, like, that's so silly. But the moment we stop fascinating about the idea of love, but instead understand what it actually means to love, Things will turn out different. Life will start having color to it. Like, I just think about how hard I was on myself, how instead kind I could have been to myself when I was younger, because I don't think enough kids know how to be kind to themselves because social media, but also just like how they were raised. Just know that if you focus on yourself, I don't mean it in a way where it's the performance type. There's different types of self-care, I think. There's the performance type and the actual self-care. To me, self-care is taking care of things that I think matter, not what other influencers or whatever tell you is important. For me, my skin care is important to me, but only the necessities. I think eating well is important to me, which I'm trying to improve. I think internally getting everything fixed and checked up on is important to me. I feel like we get so stuck up on how other people show themselves love by just putting it out there and saying, look at all of this, this overconsumption and need to have this many items. It's not a necessity to have all these items. End of the day, you need what makes you happy. And if, if buying tens and thousands of products is what makes you happy who am i to hate right but you need to make sure that you're not doing it just because other people are because if you're on social media a lot like me you wire your brain to think that this is what you want this will make you happy you might deny and say oh no i don't think it's i don't think so but you need to catch yourself when you say these little things like oh but this girl has it this boy has it th they have it something that kids need to learn and there's just so much in like child development that we as society adults need to learn because it's not that simple i feel like a lot of parents they simplify raising a child raising a child is very difficult so difficult you need to teach this child how to be someone that they can be proud of because end of the day you want them to be the best version of themselves but if you don't know how to love yourself if you don't know the fundamental blocks of appreciating yourself of being content with yourself and wanting that drive to be better for yourself, then your child will reflect the same things. If future parents or just parents don't work on that, this child will have to learn how to love themselves alone. As a parent, if we welcome the child in such a loving way to tell the child that having yourself is the best thing ever, that we just show them that you can be kind to yourself. Just imagine how good their life will be. Not in just like, oh yeah, I love myself, but as in like, they can confidently choose a career that they want. They can make decisions without thinking, I'm stupid, I'm horrible, I can't do anything. They can process through trauma in a, such a healthy way if you teach them to, because life is not just about getting a job. You can get a job regardless. If you say, I want my child to be a doctor, 
and give them all the resources to be a doctor, then what else will they be? Just a doctor? Are you gonna confidently go to bed knowing your child has depression, anxiety, so many problems that they could have resolved internally by themselves if you had taught them to? I'm so exhausted of like people just having this damaged look on like love. That love is what life is. The type of love that you get from other people. If you are confident in yourself and what you can provide, then why do you need someone else to provide that? What if they don't? That means you stay up at night crying yourself to sleep because you don't understand what's wrong with you. You also have jealousy problems if you have any. You don't know how to communicate. You gaslight each other, manipulate each other. And it's such an ugly version of yourself. And you know you hate that too. And I just want young girls, especially this, I feel really, really impacted by this because I just, I know how it feels like to be a girl that doesn't love herself. I know the experiences, the heartbreak, the constant anxiety surrounding around myself. And if I had just heard what I just said as like a 15 year old girl, things could have been different, right? And obviously I do regret many things in my lifetime <laughs> and I'm just 19, but I'm just so glad that I've come to a point where I don't need fulfillment from a man. I don't need it from anyone else. Like I can go back and regret how I dealt with situations, how I was as a person. But then I also have to remember I was just a girl. I was just a child. Anyone under 18 is a child to me. A part of loving yourself is also accepting things as they are, accepting things that happen. Because if you're still stuck in the past, staying up, constantly thinking, why was I the way I was? Why did I hurt people? Why did I hurt myself? you can reflect on that and see where things might have gone wrong and if it's on your part why dwell on it you shouldn't suffer forever because you made a mistake you shouldn't hate yourself for the rest of your life because you made that mistake hating yourself doesn't do anyone else a favor you might think this is my punishment but why punish yourself you wouldn't punish anyone else for that like would you punish someone for making a mistake punishment as in they go through they go through 24 hours of just hating themselves again and again. You wouldn't want anyone else to go through that. So why put yourself through that? And if you can make up a reason and why you deserved it, then you don't love yourself. If you loved yourself, you would have said, I face the consequences, which is whatever. But now I will learn how to be better and move on. Because if you're always stuck in the past, if you're always stuck in what could have been, who you could have been in the future then you don't have any sight of the future in general you don't have any aspirations in what you can be who you can be who you can decide to be if you're that stuck in what i could have been then you won't have any want to change yourself if you don't put the effort to be kind be good to yourself how lucky i am that you still stayed here and listened to me how lucky i am to have this group small group of it's not small to me, but this community that likes what I put out. Practice on small acts of self-love, which is just talking to yourself nicely. Yeah, that's my little take. I really want you guys to learn all of this now, or at least keep it in the back of your head, because I'm telling you, if you improve things in the beginning of your lifetime, early on, then life can be easier. If you learn it now, then as an adult, you won't still be learning how to like yourself. And yeah, guys, that's my little talk. Uh, I just want to say, no way am I dissing any other like influencers or YouTubers or whatever for doing the stuff that I said, which is overconsumption or like putting this persona out. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying all performances, but you need to learn how to pick and choose important things. I love you all. Bye. Oh my gosh, please. Hi, everyone. Um, the camera angle is not the best, but listen, this place doesn't have many areas for me to put the phone. I'm going to the mall to get my friend's sister cheesecake because she, I promised I'd get her some before, but then her sister didn't wake up and we couldn't get it before she went to like camping or whatever. So I'm surprising her with some because later today I am hanging out with my friends. This, um, oh, that was a breeze. <laughs> um, okay, I'm not doing anything illegal, but I'm still scared. This is my outfit, Levi hoodie, my glasses. I love these glasses. These glasses are my favorite now. 
here. Okay, that's awkward. This is honestly all I came for. <laughs> I was gonna be so happy. <laughs> alone time, hobbies, yeah. I have bought this a long time ago, but I've literally had no time to do it because every time I come home from work, all I wanna do is rest. You can Guys, Luna just finished her zoomies. <laughs> Luna! <laughs> I warned her, but she kept running around. <laughs> 